Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Another month begins, and today we're going to hit a new way to see the new moon. We'll peek in on seismicity, astrophysics of the solar wind, and pre-seismic anomalies. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Things are relatively calm for the time being. Far side eruptions continue, and there are plenty of reasons to keep watch on the sun right now, mostly the plasma filaments. You can see them as the thin, dark ropes of plasma here wiggling around in the corona, and they appear similarly in 304 angstroms here. This is ionized helium, the gold and bronze colored views at the start were returns from ionized iron. These filaments are on watch just in case they do what several others have done in the last week, erupt. There was one such event off the far side yesterday. All the eruptions have been off the far side, actually. You can see it going off there behind the limb. Pretty solid blast would have been equivalent to about an X1 or X2 by the look of it. Filament eruptions have not targeted Earth in many months. Quick look at the solar wind shows we're still inside the elevated stream near 700 kilometers per second, but that stability, even at the higher pressure, is adjusted to by Earth's field and geomagnetic conditions are steadying slightly. Also worth noting that while the corona hole responsible for that stream is seen departing here to the right, over on the left, just cresting over the edge into view now is another darker region that may be the next corona hole system incoming there, and confidence should be fairly high on that one actually since Gong at the National Solar Observatory shows the departure of the positive corona hole in green and then the negative opening cresting that limb on the left. New corona graph from NOAA. Pulled a nifty trick yesterday since it's not at L1 a million miles upstream in the solar wind, it's in orbit around the Earth, it can see the Earth shine reflection off the new moon. I'd actually forgotten about this, but it was something that several keen astronomers were discussing around the launch time. Very, very cool. Now we're going to seismicity where the most interesting quake hit Texas yesterday, very above average for the region. Also have a couple polar quakes worth noting too. The top stories today begin here. Ever more reason to look at the electric potential as an accelerator in the solar wind. This is almost certainly a critical aspect of the process. The Alphane waves coming from coronal holes seem to suggest it rings true. And here we see the team actually trying to work around that electric force and conclude they cannot do so. Finally, folks, a revisiting of the quake that actually started it all in terms of pre-seismic anomalies. It was the Demeter satellite that caught weird atmospheric electricity anomalies for days over a region in China, and then disaster struck. New paper here confirming the veracity of that data that kicked off an entire new field of science. Folks, the Observer Review is our monthly e-magazine, but we also have a special release, either prose or a video, every month as well, diving deeper. This month's special release is video number four in the disaster discussions. It's coming to all subscribers tomorrow. The next monthly issue is coming in two weeks. Sign up at the link below, then bookmark your archive page where you can access everything we've ever sent out instantly. Greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.